Bahala be like bicycle bunch of G's for you guys here cuz the girl has been slacking But I know my lovers will never leave me. Thank you all for the love on this channel Welcome back to the channel. My name is princess to all my returnees you all welcome and if you're new Thank you for coming. Let's just get into all the G's that I have for you guys today because Fina be late So I made this video about you are savage yeah so you guys saw that video i made this video about you are savage and somebody came to leave a comment that oh um the funny thing is that this was copied from a white woman over a year ago and she just had to wait until the trend that died off for she created us and i'm like why does this have to be a competition between the white and the black somebody does a trend that everybody's doing on tiktok and you're coming to leave a comment for me telling me oh she copied the trend from a white woman like are you kidding me like does it even make any sense but this video is not about you so let's just dive in did you guys see Uche Umwezi's baby shower? It was a beautiful, you know, baby shower. Well, well, there were some things I felt like, okay, okay, y'all could have done it this way, you know, but that is just my opinion. And I'm here to give you guys my opinion on what I think about those things that I've seen. Welcome back to the channel and to all my returnees and you. Thank you so much for clicking to this channel. I'm here with all the tea that have been up on these few days. I'm here to drop it on your doorstep as it is hot so guys yes uchi and wezi had a baby shower and i want to commend lily pope see i understand that on the street of youtube we do reactions and sometimes y'all don't like or someone will come to say you know our truth but it is what it is okay but when you see good also you should come out and say it boldly as i am doing right now because i feel like lily pope did a very beautiful thing there you know going back to Paraka to celebrate a friend um uche and Wezi, but uche would do the same thing definitely that is uche uche would do the same thing uche has done it for lily she has been there for lily so i'm not even in any doubt that uche would have done the same thing okay but i just think it's a very beautiful gesture when you're friends with somebody and you know the what you've done for them can sort of be returned you know it's really nice when you're friends with someone and you know it it connects it gets it connects like this you not just be one side i'm just giving giving and you're receiving you know when both of you are actually giving giving each other yeah so i like that and big ups to lily pop as you guys to that no means say tomorrow if i stay with lily talk i'm not going to talk i talk anyway that being said um i loved the dress which one was it was wearing for our baby shower the makeup let me let that pass okay yeah let, let that pass but the dress was beautiful the event i feel like it's a baby shower should that they could have been more but i mean it's fine what count is the thought okay and i wanted to say uche and wezi did not want to hear story that thought she didn't want drama in her life at all if you guys know during the dasi over buhaha on the street of youtube it was being said that one person did not come and say thank you but somebody did not say thank you and that thank you brought wahala so uche and wezi came to her channel she did a video in the ending that she has, she's homo and she thanked everybody I'm going to tag all of them in the comments section. Those who contributed. So me, I'm coming to tell you now for they'll say, ah, Uche did not say thank you that time. She said it. Those who contributed, but they could not attend, she thanked them. Those who attended and contributed, she thanked everybody because <laughs> the girl no one yes story. She no one yes drama. Anyway, let's talk about Chef Ola and you know Chi Chi. This couple, they're a couple I really enjoy. I like their, you know, I like their persons, okay? I enjoy watching them. Even though Chi Chi came out to use her mouth and scatter plenty of things, probably because of, you know, what she felt or whatever. But, you know, right now, they came on YouTube to tell us that they are back and that we should go and spread the news. Chi Chi, should I just come and pay reactors and say, please, reactor princess, reactor this, reactor that, please just go and be spreading the news that we are about. Come and pay us. We are going to do the job for you. But anyway, 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 we might as well still do it. So she said that they are back and they are going to be dropping tea, all sizzling tea 
as to what happened you know that they thought they could live with each other but actually they can't live without each other or that chichi was like there are some little things that her husband does for her and that you know she still goes ahead to just miss her husband those times when he's not there and the other one was like you know for him he can't live without her he can't live without her she's everything so they're like they're, they're back now they're going to be breaking everything down i already knew that they had issues okay no husband and wife would just suddenly come out one day or the woman especially would just come out one day and say oh all the opera that everything we did is a fake everything is a fake and then you know yeah it doesn't work that way but they said they're back and i'll come here and give you guys more tea when they come to tell us what you know actually happened i'll be here to tell you guys just 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 that so let's talk about laifa hmm. guys if you are watching this the same money is good just say it just say it same money is good anyway you know laifa is one of the youngest you know zelonia okay well there's no zelonia but yeah she has money yeah so laifa decided she just decided that she's tired or just living with her siblings and you know that place was just a two bedroom like she needs her own space so she went and got a new space for herself rented a new place for herself to live in anyway she did house store shower and the place was not bad at all but she said there are people that she don't like the kitchen because there was one funny color looking there i don't like the color also but it's not like me i like the color that is in my kitchen but <laughs> we move anyway guys so life i moved to a new place just because she just wants to move to a new place and she's tired of the old place and sharing and it's not like her sister is not going to be coming to the new place so in short they are always around her but she just wants a space so she can think you know fresh ideas and everything and she just wants to enjoy a space before she gets married according to her a lot of people just you know get married from their parents house you know but she feels like, you know, she wants to experience and explore before she delve into this thing called marriage. Mm. Please, though, my people. I'm sorry. It's not... I'm a boy anything. When Laifa did her last birthday, mm, there was one man that they were covering face. If I can go and bring that clip, I will bring it and put it here. They were covering this man's face like this. The man looked a bit rounded. There was tummy. And they were covering his face that that was Laifa's boot. Does that mean that that relationship is over? men as come some men not all does that because in my mind when i saw that guy I was looking like i was like ah this guy looks very, very responsible that means any minute from now life i might just you know tell us that they've popped the question to our marriage in the you know and i used to say she has a relationship but when i is doing now it's like relationship are break like relationship is out of the picture like shiny man it did not work these things do happen and it's not the end of the road okay the mr right the one that will value you is gonna come uh -huh. you might experience this hiccup here and there but the one that will treat you like a egg that your heart is going to be fluttering for it's going to come this shit happen but it is what it is let's just jump into the next gist. should we call nello kk a stingy wife should we call her that can we call her that do you guys think she's a stingy wife i don't think so although nello keeps saying oh the reason i said that here yeah, she keeps saying oh i didn't put any money in this house that we built though i didn't put any money in this house at all like i didn't put any money because you know like it's the men's job to you know build this house i just i didn't allow him to do this i didn't allow him to do that i didn't allow him to do that but nilo come on the money is still there even if she she's saying she didn't put money into the building you guys remember when Nilo was telling us that the, the bathroom she didn't like the bathroom the everything that was in the bathroom she didn't like it so she was like you should just take it down take it down take it down and she when she got new ones obviously i'm sure those money came from her pocket probably came from a guy baby's pocket share i don't know but i'm just like there were things she did she traveled to a bar she bought this bought that so your money is still in the house one way or the other and low. so stop saying that oh you didn't put money you didn't put money stop saying that and according to her she was saying oh they made compromises in the house because her husband wanted this she wanted this but they had to make compromise to make it work mm. Anyway, the good thing is they have a beautiful home. And Nilo said she's not feeling like going out again these days. Oh, ha. That she thought she was an outgoing person, but she when she moved into this mansion, ah, that she's not outgoing anymore, that she really likes her house. I say, if it's me too, I don't want to go anywhere. But I have that kind of house. And even in this, my own house, like that I mean, I don't feel like going anywhere sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Except I really have to go. So I understand. Anyway, let's jump into the next Jeez, this just is not new anyway. Yeah, it's been on the street, but this is when I'm getting to talk about it. The gist that we had that Sandra insulted a gifter. <laughs> hey, Wahala, what it be this? What it be this? These gifters, not the year. Oh no, oh no, I know the fair. Hey, 
give thanks. Oh, again, eh? So apparently, you know, Sandra Reality and her aunt came on the street of YouTube to tell us what they were going through. And there were lots of speculation about, you know, burying, you know, the old woman, God rest her soul. I think there was an account number. I didn't know there was an account number, a general account number that you could give, you know, money to if you wanted to. It's not like I want to go and give any money, but I didn't know about that. So um i think this woman i don't know how she got sandra contact uh, contact and you know called sandra and they said sandra insulted her <laughs> i'm sorry i'm laughing but please please even if it's five thousand you want to give even if it's ten thousand sometimes you have to be very careful on who you're calling to you know give and especially if there's an account and you feel like the lord blessed you or led you and you just want to associate it to someone's life please just go and pay into the account and move on. The world, or people don't even, the person you haven't given doesn't necessarily have to know that, oh, I give you. Except you are giving because you're looking for something right back in return. I'm not saying that Sandra insulting her is a good thing. I don't even really know what led to that insult, okay? I don't know what led to the insult because this is what on the street, right? But I mean, come on, come on. Sandra, you say, if you're not insult the gift, and I give, she won't give you now, eh? And I know what made they give na gift again. Anyway, that's what I heard. I said she come and tell you, but what do you think? You say Sandra is not a gifter. And the gifter is a YouTuber, but I'm not gonna call her name here because obviously we're not trying to make a mockery of the person, are we? Let's just jump into the next gist. <laughs> association of big nose, come and gather here. Mm. I'm an associate too. <laughs> but only when pregnant, because I know when I'm not pregnant, my nose is cute. <laughs> so according to Neka, I watched the video where she was, you know, yeah, being Right, people that their nose is to get big. According to her, this pregnancy was move. The pregnancy where she just had a baby was move, and she didn't have any big nose or all those big, 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 big. But some people will have big nose. I know somebody that has a big nose, <laughs> but let's not go into that so that they will not say, Princess, what are you trying to do, dear? If you know, you know, and if you know yourself, you're watching this, you know yourself. <laughs> but we know what pregnancy can do to some women. My own pregnancy, if I'm pregnant, guys. <laughs> Hmm. I wish I could find my pregnant picture and put it for you guys, but I won't do that because I'm not about to get laughed at by some of you. Because I know some of you will be like, "Princess, what is this? <laughs> what is this?" When I when I when I gave birth, someone who saw me after I gave birth to my second child was like, "So you're fine? So you're even fine, small? Like because that that pregnancy was just it was not giving you any." I was like, "Yeah, it's one of those things. The sacrifice we mothers make for our children." One of the sacrifices we'll make to bring our babies, our beautiful babies, to this world. And no mother should ever have to, you know, regret, you know, betting a child or lose their life while giving birth to a child. Anyway, guys, thank you so much if you watched up to this point. Please leave in the comment section which of the cheese resonates with you. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye for now.